My red flags, I'll just name three. I've got about 300, but I'll just name my top three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, eh. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm nervous. I didn't know we have to like be ourselves. <laughs> Hello for lover everyone, welcome to Ask Gabby and Diamond. Today we are doing a masterclass on how to earn your feels around navigating love. There's many types of love, but today we are gonna be talking about the most important one, which is self-love, because through every breakup or breakdown, there is a breakthrough. In part of the healing progress, go out there and learn a new skill or hobby. Today, me and Gabby are gonna be making some beautiful candy lace. And let's get started. Yes. So our first question for today is, how does a breakup change someone's identity? Yeah, I'm like, let me get this glow up, glowing up, mm. so that when you see me, you're like, that's right. Breakups, they're an opportunity to reassess, reevaluate. It was like I got so caught up in the person that I forgot who I was. And so as heartbreaking as it was, it gave me an opportunity, like in the, in the yuckiness, you're down at the bottom, you can only go up. Why this is society so obsessed with us, like, or you being with somebody? The movies and all the programs that we grew up watching, you know, Disney and like everything that you watch, that you hear, it's all about. When, once you find your Prince Charming, like your life is complete, you are happy. Being Pacific woman, like in our families, it's like once you get to a certain age, like you should be married, you should have kids, you should have your life together. Like I remember like when I was about to turn 30, like having this like pre-30 life crisis, because I was like, I don't have any of this. My life is a mess. We just had to remind each other, like, our lives are good. Like, reminding ourselves, like, we have great careers. We have great family. And also talking to a lot of older people um, who are, like, 40s or 50s, and they're like, bro, oh, like, just chill. Like, you've got time. It's important to go through these different spaces. Now, you can't always be happy. I'm just so thankful, like, really hitting rock bottom. For me, I just really had to learn, like, okay, who am I again? And then I start, like, getting my hustle back on, you know, reminding myself, like, and it's just getting out there, surrounding yourself with good friends. If you have the funds, save up money and just book a trip and go. You know, see some, some new inspiration. <laughs> see some new fishes, see some new oceans. See some new <laughs> lights. <laughs> I guess it's not until, like, later on, in hindsight, where you, appreciate that time but when you're in it it's like just sit in it as much as you don't want to wear as much as you try and fight it like you have to just sit in it and face yourself and that's one of the biggest blessings that I that have come out of that time I'm so happy that we're living in a time where media and of course as you touch base on you know Disney princesses we have Moana you know she doesn't have a prince charming and I really loved that for her you know you can be alone and be enough what is um, glowing up and you know like self-love and all that kind of stuff uh, looking after myself I always have to come back to okay what does Gabby need not feeling guilty for being selfish in that I always say this you're no good for anyone if you're not good for yourself. And so when you find who you are as a person and you find that calling and what you're supposed to be in this life, I feel the right person will come. Being comfortable with having uncomfortable conversations. I'm not good at it, but I'm definitely better than from where I've come from. <laughs> yes. Normalizing us being humans, you know? We're not like robots. I guess that's something that we're all learning and navigating together, yes. I think, yeah. That's all we have time for today. Now go out and love on somebody. And I hope that somebody is me. Girl. <laughs>